A special thank you to Bressler Research Institute in Yerushalayim, specifically Svi Kramer, uh, son of my Rebbe, Rabbi Chaim Kramer, for inviting me to speak on the all-important subject of his Hachus, starting again in relationship to Pesach. So we're just a few ways, a few days away from Pesach, and there are two ingredients I want to focus on that are the sabotages of our life. One is Paray, and the other is Mitzrayim. So famously, Paray is the oisius, the same letters, Pe-ra, bad mouth. The worst enemy I have is me, <laughs> my mind. But the good news is, my best friend is me, my mind. Pera means that Pare convinces me that I'm a nothing, a nobody, a number on the arm, have no significance. My life has no future and, and in the way I'm being a slave to desires, tivers, to the crazy media, me, Dea, whose opinion is that anyway, um, I could find myself on the phone, excuse me, sorry. Oh, um, so distracted, I did, so I just want to check my email one more time, um, and the, oh, the, the text. So I, I'm, I'm a slave to devices, that's crazy. Baruch Hashem for Shabbos, where I'm allowed not to work and be stuck with this technic, tech, high-tech, drowning media that's kidnapping my mind. So Parai is all about bad news, it's putting down, I'm never going to be a Talmud Hacham, I'll never be a good wife, I'll never be a good father, um, I'll never be a masmid, I'll never be a dear safe, I'll be able to open up a safe and learn on my own, and I beat myself up. And the more I listen to the Pera, the Parai, the more I'm falling into the Sahara, which Rav Nachman Breslev tells us in the famous Torah 49, in the first Chelek, the Yetzirah is nothing more complicated or mysterious than the negative thinking, the Machshavas Rais, the bad mouthing that's going on inside of here. Whether I'm going to blame on parents or my upbringing and the schooling and the Rebbe, this, the Murrah, that. I get to choose what to think right now. So we're going to speak very briefly about two ingredients of Pesach. Parai. He's a para, and I've got to watch out for that because I really need to get away from him. And number two is Mitzrayim. Now Mitzrayim is made up of two words, Meitzer, Yam. Meitzer is a boundary, a frontier, um, a wall, like in America. So uh, here you have Meitzer, Yam. Yam is an ocean. An ocean is always a metaphor for potential unlimited potential. Water is the life-giving force for plants, for trees, for fruit, for us to be able to eat and drink and wash, um, immerse in order to be metaher ourselves, to purify ourselves in, in a kosher mikvah. Water is essential to life. Oh, mates are yum. Paro is the one that's bad-mouthing me and one of his strategies is place boundaries around my potential and put a cap on me. I can't because I'm limited. I haven't got a good mind. Well, I started late. Um, I'm only starting to mature and I'm beginning to appreciate um, the uh, things I've been through that were really hard. Ended up being actually stepping stones and helping me and I just wish I could accept the, God's reality that life is good because I get distracted so much from the para Paroi inside me and the Meitzayam, Mitzrayim, that tries to set boundaries that I will never become a good Jew. Has v'shalom. Comes along Rabbeinu Zal, Rav Nachman of Breslov. And there are so many areas that he touches on. We're going to look at Hitchachus, Hitchachut, which means start again. Now that's not some sort of great mindset and good idea. It's wired into creation. Sunset, sunrise, I think it's the other way around. Sunrise, sunset, it's a new day. The new moon, um, the seasons. Here you have spring and 
I like the word spring because it's almost like the grass, vegetation, springs out of the ground. The buds and the blossoming beautiful flowers spring out of the twigs, the branches. It's wired into creation that every season is another new season. Every sunrise is another new day, the new moon. Even your body is wired to teach you, us, ourselves, Hidchachus, start again. Your body has over a hundred trillion cells. And every time, ouch, every time you, you bump into something or hit yourself or whatever, Hundreds of millions of cells are killed and renewed. Even your skin is renewing itself. It's constantly shedding itself and new skin is coming. Do you know what's amazing? Your bones every six to seven years are not the same bones. That's why it's so important to be careful about diet because you are literally what you eat in that sense. But the point I'm bringing out is Chidchachos is not just an attitude. Hashem wired it into the Bria. Which means every Pesach is not a celebration of an event that took place 3,334 years ago. Pesach means that this is a new now where the messages of Pesach, overcoming the Pera, the Paroi, the internal one, uh, getting beyond the limits that I've set on myself academically, emotionally, spiritually, and break through that potential. Like the Torah tells us, Loitasig Vul Reyecha, which is actually one of the 613 mitzvahs. Literally, it means don't move the boundary marker of your property in such a way that you gain more property by taking some of your neighbors, um, but if you look carefully at the language, lotasig is also a lotion of reaching. Lotasig, you will never reach. You will never reach lotasig vul reyacha, the limit on your friend. Do you know why? Never cap a Jew, never cap anyone, never cap a child. Never say, look, his, this is his limitation. He's got disabilities. Don't cap anybody. Comes along Rabbeinu Zal, Rav Nachman of Breslov, and tells us Hidkachos means this now, this moment, this hour is not a continuation of yesterday. It's a totally new now. And where are you experiencing time? We're not just talking about time. See, tomorrow never exists because as soon as you get there, it's the present. And yesterday never exists because it's history. Like Chazal always tell us, Mata hava hava. It happened already, move on. Like Rashi says, I think it's a Gemara in Yuma, around about, I think it's Daf Hey or it's Daf Tes. I didn't check before, I apologize. So uh, Rashi says on, on that lotion of Mata hava hava, whatever happened, happened. Says, what is it going to help to ask questions about the past? It happened, move on. So Pesach is a renewal to remind ourselves of God's reality. What's God's reality? Hidchachus, start again. What's God's reality? It's impossible to give up, despair. Why is it impossible? Because whatever I did yesterday, an hour ago, a minute ago, has zero relationship to who I am now. And I'm not talking about time, I'm talking about where you experience time in your mind. So you're always one thought away from a new thought. And that new thought can be any choice you make. Look at Tara Nun and Nun Hei in Tinyana, the second chilek of the Kuti Maran, where he offers a beautiful marshal of a rider and a horse. Now from a distance you're looking at the rider and the horse and you wonder who's taking who for a ride. It could be the horse is directing the rider. Um, so anyone who's done horse riding will know that the slightest movement, very, very, very subtle movement of the reins will change the direction of the horse. Says Rav Nachman of Breslev, who himself was a, a, a very experienced horse rider, you experience Bechira over here. And even though sometimes the taiva appears to be the horse inside us taking us for a ride, you can change the direction in a thought. Because a hero of Teshuvah 
is reality. So I'm going to share with you how Yuma, Duff, uh, Pei Vav, page 86, describes the power of Teshuva. Teshuva Gedaila. Teshuva. Teshuva is great. Rav Nachman brings right at the beginning in Sichus Aran, I think in, uh, in Torah, Aleph, uh, Torah Gimel, talks about Teshuva is even higher than Torah. Because Rashi tells us in, in Gemara, in Bracha Yud Zion, uh, Tachlis Hochma Teshuva Maisim Tovim. The purpose of Hochma, Rashi says, is referring to Torah. So the purpose of learning Torah is Teshuva, is to change my mind. That's what Teshuva means. Change direction. What direction? Of the way I'm thinking and therefore the way I'm speaking and therefore the way I'm acting. All starts over here. Genesis of everything we say and do is in what I'm thinking. Oh, so comes along Rav Nachman. I'm just finishing that piece where Tachlis Chachma Teshuva Maisim Toivim. So you see, the purpose of learning is that I should do Teshuva and do Maisim Toivim. So in a certain sense, the Teshuva is even higher than the Torah. That's really the Tachlis. So comes from Nachman of Breslov and offers us that you never need to fall into years. You know why? Because the moment you realize that no matter how far down I am, I'm always one thought away, one moment away from a new thought. It's a new now. There's renewal in the Bria to teach me. I'm surrounded by, I'm living, my body is renewal all the time. One photo of me today and a year from now, it'll be different. But does that mean I'm changing from year to year? No, every second your body changes. That's why Panim is only plural, it's never singular. Because faces means your face is, is always changing. You can't have a word in Lashna Kodesh for something that doesn't exist in reality. Because Lashna Kodesh created reality. So Lashna Kodesh came first. Baruch Sha'ama Vehaya Olam. So says the Radak in Sefer Yeshua, Perak Aleph. Pasuk Aleph, there's no singular version for the word face in Lashon HaKadosh. Only Panim, it's plural, because your face is changing every second, all the time. Do you know why? So the HaKadosh Baruch Hu is speaking to us throughout the entire Bria, inside of us and on our face. Life is not about yesterday or tomorrow, it's about, what am I thinking right now? Rahman Liba boy, Hashem wants my mind. So Rav Nachman mentions this many times. It's, uh, it's also, it's, it's a straight, strong language, to fall into Yush, because Yush is not reality. Despair, giving up, is not reality. Why not? Because in order for me to truly despair, I've got to say, nothing I can think, or say, or do, will ever improve my life, my marriage, my health, my finances. To give up, I've got to say, there's nothing, nothing, that's going to make any difference. And I call Yachol, Hashem can do anything and everything, so Emunah alone should smash despair and, and Yehosh, and it, should, it just should never exist. But comes along Rav Nachman, and he tells us something beautiful, because it's right out of the Gemara. It's possible that as far down a person has fallen in Hasv addictions, and Averas, and who knows what terrible Avainos, Peshayim, no matter how far a person's fallen, as far as they are on the minor side of the scale, when they do tshuva me'ava, what happens to the Avera? It's not just cancelled out, it switches to the plus side of the scale. So if a person, let's say, does an Avera, which I'm just throwing out, uh, in Shemaim scores t- minus 10. If he does teshuva me'ira, it goes to a zero, now it's cancelled. But if he does teshuva me'ava, Rebbein Shalem, I love you. How do I up to love you when I recognize how much good you do for me, the world, wife, children, family, how many chasadim you've done for me, unlimited. Oh, when you come to teshuva me'ava, what happens to the minus 10? It becomes a plus 10. Really? Ho <laughs> ho How does that happen? So, Chazal tell us, and Rav Nachman quotes it many times, sometimes a Kodesh Baruch Hu, he can, he, he can do anything, and therefore, when a person does tshuva me'ava, he takes all the Averas on the, on the minor side of the scale, and they become schuyos. Now that's higher than a mitzvah in a certain sense, because a schus means you can draw upon that. You can, you can rely on that in the bank. You can go to Shemayim with the schuyos of Averas, that became schuyos. Really? 
Now, I'm not suggesting you go there and do Averas to get the, and then do Tshuva Miyava, which, by the way, the Zaya tells us, I never saw this inside Rav Desla, I heard it from a Talmud Mufchak, Rabbi Arya Carmel, um, who was a Talmud Mufchak of Rav Desla. Rav Desla claims, in the name of the Zaya, that Adam Rishon had Das Elyon. Now, he, you know, he was um, FF. FFC, from, from creation. Um, he wasn't born of a mother, so he had no DNA from mom and dad. So he, um, never, he had no one to blame for his mistakes. He couldn't say, well, it's my upbringing. Um, I'm a victim of a, of a dysfunctional home. He had Das Elyon. Kavi Yachol, he had Hashem's mindset. That's why he was able to look at, at elements in the Bria and, and look at the animals and identify which Isis HaKadosh Baruch Hu had to pronounce to create that word that created that animal. He had Das Elyon. So where does he go off eating from the tree? Says Rav Dasla, he knew because he had Das Elyon, Hashem's mind. Who's greater? A Tzadik Gamor? From from birth never does a mistake. Or a Baal Teshuva. Someone made a mistake and came back. So Chazal tell us, B'makam Tzadikim Gamorim Oimdim Sorry, in the place that a Baal Tshuva stands, Tzadikim Gamurim Lamoid. They they can't get anywhere close to that Baal Tshuva. So Adam Arishan made a simple hashpan. Well, look, I'm, why did Hashem say don't eat from the tree? Well, if I eat from the tree and then do tshuva me'ava, I'll be on the plus side of the scale, and I will also be a Baal Tshuva, which is higher than a Tzadik Gamur, which I am right now. So that was a mistake. It was a mistake. He shouldn't have done it. But I'm showing you examples where the Torah itself is made. That one hero of Teshuvah changes everything. That is so important to know because Rav Nachman would not stop encouraging us. You, you look through Sikhus Run and the easy Torahs of Likutim Run again and Chayim Run again and again and again. Hit Chachus. Start again. Start again. Because every now is a new now. It's not just renewal. It's a, do- it's a totally different now. This Pesach is a whole new Pesach that never came before and will never come again. Today was a day that was never before and will never come again. So Therefore, the only thing that I have in front of my eyes is not tomorrow, not yesterday, but what am I doing now? Davening. What am I doing now? Learning. What am I doing now? Spending time with my wife. What am I doing right now? Oh, learning with my kids. What am I doing now? I'm, I'm, I'm reading a safer. Whatever you're doing now, that is where your mind is. And if I'm doing something that I shouldn't really be spending so much time on, only for a few hours a day to check. Sorry. Um, I can distract myself in one regga the moment I realize, am I investing in Olam HaSheker right now or Olam HaEmes? And if it's Olam HaSheker, I'm one thought away from turning it off. I'm one thought away from opening up a safer. I'm one thought away from saying a few words, Rebbe Shalom, help me. I, f- I find myself addicted to these crazy devices. Help me, Rebbe Shalom, not to put myself down with that pair ra, pair ra. Help me to get out of mitzah, yam, mitzrayim, which is setting boundaries to me. And help me pair sach, open my mouth and talk. That's what Pesach is, says, says Rabbi Nuzal. Pesach, open your mouth and talk. The real Geula is from Amuna. The real Geula is taking place over here. The real Geula is get rid of Mitzrayim and Parai. Because if I leave Mitzrayim, but I take all these limitations on myself, I brought Mitzrayim with me. If, if I've, I've crossed over the sea and said goodbye to Paro, who either dry, drowned or some say he became king later on in Nineveh, whichever way you want to look at it, if I take Paro with me into the Midbar, what was the point of coming out of Mitzrayim if I take Mitzrayim and Paro Perat with me? Pesach is the time to talk to Ben Shalom and recognize true chavos, true freedom is not geographical. True freedom is not outside in. True freedom is inside out. When we are free from believing that there's any other power other than a Kodesh Baruch Hu, that's freedom. When we accept Hashem's Hashkacha Pratis, the details of His supervision of local and global matters, that's freedom. The moment I get sucked into all the WhatsApps and the Twitters and what's on Facebook and I don't know all the names of the, all the items on this device, the moment I realize 
that, who am I listening to? Me, Dea, whose opinion is that? Is, is it based on Chazal? Is it based on a Pasuk? Is it, is it from Musa, from Hasidus? Where, where is this coming from? And the answer is pure speculation. And whatever the evidence they're going to bring to believe Republicans or, or the Democrats or or uh, the or the uh, you're not supposed to say that um, uh, vaccine or anti-vaccine. It doesn't. You know what? There's so much evidence on both sides that the more I look into it, the more confused I get. <laughs> Kodesh Baruch says, start again. Biba Simcha, start again. Pesach, open your mouth and talk to a Kodesh Baruch Hu in the schus of knowing that time is something we experience over here. And therefore, we're always in the now. And the now is always a new now. Yesterday's behavior has nothing to do with me making a new choice today. With one movement of the reins, I can, I can change the horse, my Yetzirah, in a totally different direction. And guess who's in control? Oh, the Yetzirah Taif, the Machshavah Taif, is Hema Yetzirah Taif, says Rabbi Nuzal. So, in the schus of knowing that we are always one thought away from true chaos, true freedom, and letting go of the shackles that are self-imposed from Parai Pera and Mitzrayim Meitzayam. In that schus, we should be to the ultimate freedom of seeing Mashiach Tzitkein Nebim Amen.